physical properties are properties that can be measured and there are largely speaking four physical properties that we deal with. The first two are melting point, which is the temperature at which the solid and liquid phases of a substance are in equilibrium, and boiling point, which is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a substance equals the atmospheric pressure. And we know that in a solid, the particles are densely packed and fairly neatly arranged. In a liquid, they are still fairly densely packed, but the arrangement is random. And in a gas, the particles have large distances between them and there is absolutely no arrangement. And in order to separate or to convert from a solid to a liquid or a liquid to a gas, it's necessary to break the intermolecular forces that exist between those molecules. So what we find is that substances that have stronger intermolecular forces will have higher melting and boiling points. The third physical property is called vapor pressure, and that is the pressure exerted by a vapor at equilibrium with its liquid in a closed system. And what we find here is that there are always a certain number of particles that are able to escape from a liquid and become a gas. And in a closed system, that gas exerts a force on the container. Now, a substance that has strong intermolecular forces would not easily allow particles to escape, unlike a substance with weak intermolecular forces where the particles are able to easily escape that liquid and become a gas. So what we find is that substances with weak intermolecular forces have more gas particles and as a result a higher vapor pressure. And so we can summarize as this strong intermolecular forces result in a low vapor pressure. The fourth and less common physical property is viscosity, which is the resistance of a liquid to flow, where a substance like honey would have a very high viscosity because it is very resistant to flow and a substance like water would have a very low viscosity because it flows very easily. And that flow is essentially a measure of how strong the intermolecular forces are between particles. If the particles are held together by strong intermolecular forces, the substance does not easily flow and as a result, we say that strong intermolecular forces result in a high viscosity.